Does this tank not confuse anyone else when they first get into a game with it? Where the camera angle is facing backwards, because that's the way your cannon is, but the tank chassis is built facing the other way, going the normal front way, but the cannon's pointing backwards. And I'd have to say, this has been probably one of the worst experiences <laughs> for trying to play a tank in War Thunder. The whole thing is completely backwards. It's not super quick on turning, especially if you get yourself stuck on hills. And all you can do is just hope and pray you can get your entire tank turned around facing the enemy before they see you and take you out. Plus, this thing has no armor. Machine guns, I think, go right through this. So, <laughs> this has not been the best experience. Anyone's grinding the British tech tree trying to get through the destroyer line, I could see this being your greatest obstacle. <laughs> this, I didn't have to play very many games to get to the point of realizing, yeah, this is not something I actually want to play. And probably not for a very, very long time, if at all. Okay, we're going to cut through here and... I don't see a whole lot of guys, or my whole, looks like my whole team's over on the left-hand side. They're capturing a... My only way of really being able to get shots on these is just listen for sounds, maybe get my tank turned around, just in time for hoping that somebody just comes around the corner or comes right into my point of view, rather than coming up and approaching enemies like I normally like to do. I'm having to think backwards with my play style is the best way to put it. Um, <laughs> because the thing is all backwards. I get where they're coming from, maybe with the British, because to mount a, such a massive gun like this... Hold on. Hold on, I think I'm hearing something. Now, all I have to do is just hope and pray that this guy comes this way. It sounds like somebody's coming this way. Okay, all right, we got a shot off. The thing has an excellent cannon. No complaints about that thing. You probably have the biggest long thing in the game, but everything else outside of this, having, look at this, having to turn around now to go forward back into battle. I mean, if this was in a car scene chase and you had bad guys chasing you, I couldn't have picked a better vehicle outside of us going maybe four or five kilometers an hour but oh and then we got some guys over there too can we get this thing turned around in time yeah see that's what i mean <laughs> this thing had better mobility you could do maybe a lot more with it now i may be getting myself kind of into the danger zone and i hate to admit it but this thing is probably the way to play it is just find a place. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm hearing somebody else. It sounds like he's coming up to my right. Position. Yep, here he comes. Ooh. And I just have to hope that they're not slowly peeking and getting a view around the corner seeing me because I have no way of coming up on enemies with this thing. Your forward speed, well, your backward speed, however you want to look at it, <laughs> is like negative, well, that doesn't even actually make sense. You can't go negative kilometers an hour or miles per hour. So that's kind of funny. But anyway, it goes like one or two kilometers, I think, an hour backwards. Yeah, I would have to say this hands down does not fit my play style. As I was saying, I think the way to play this thing is you just have to find a spot, sit there, and wait for enemies the whole time just to come right within your view. So we'll see how well we do with this thing playing it most likely the wrong way. Um, oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was expecting that or not. He got, flew around the corner and almost looked like I scared him. As you should be if you've got this thing facing you. 
I would say just about everything else has better mobility than this thing. Okay. Now, I'm not feeling, just because my mobility kind of sucks, and I feel like I've got a lot of disadvantages just going right kind of out on field and trying to come up on the enemies. I almost need to get this thing across, go over to that little courtyard area and try and turn around and shoot these enemies because we have no guys really up north or past A and they may be pushing up enough that I can just get some side shots on them. So let's go ahead and try that. This has to be the worst experience. Please let nobody see me from the front. I'm feeling good about this position. Okay, let's turn around and I have to painfully go backwards <laughs> three kilometers an hour into battle. Oh. Okay, nice. Can we get one more? If I can get one more, I would say, you know what? I could say, yeah. This could be a wrap. The enemy is winning. We We're going to hide here in the shade. Maybe slowly push up a little bit more. Oh. Oh, can we get him? Oh, and this cannon's like slow at turning too. Oh, no! We didn't take him out! Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, shoot, did that come from behind me or where did I get shot? Oh! Uh oh. Okay, we can still move. Let's get our gunner back and hopefully we can get him back before. Oh, shoot, I think I hear someone to the left of me too. Oh, no. <laughs> the desert. We may actually have a little bit more luck on this. If we go out over on this side, there is this huge area. Hopefully we get a lot of enemies pushing up through this way. We may be able to snipe them just right across as they try and push to... Okay. Oh, all right, we see someone over there. Now, subscriber said to use the range finder, but... <clears throat> I've seen I found that to be either inaccurate. I feel like my crews and All right, maybe I'm feeling here. Oh, not quite. I feel like even when I do use my crews, they don't <laughs> They know probably just as much as I do. Right there? Oh man. Okay. Right here. Oh, yes. Maybe it's because I don't have my crews fully trained on these. And now painfully stroll backwards into battle. This is the only way I'm going in. I have to face this way. Oh, okay, I see a guy over to our right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh man, yeah. If I had to turn all the way around to try and get him, I would have been dead. And I hear a bunch of guys over to my left, and it's so torturous with how slow this is. I'm just like, why? <laughs> why is this this way? Uh-oh. I guess the one thing that's a good thing is your engine deck is in front of you. So that may provide some protection. Okay, this guy is... Okay. Now let's see if we can help our friend here. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got the controls confused again. At the beginning of every battle... I know this thing's facing backwards, so I instinctively choose the backwards button, even though I know I need to be pushing the forwards button. 
I'm even all backwards trying to play this thing. Do you know those people that have their mouse set to inverted or something? <laughs> I feel like that is exactly how this thing is. When you go and try and help somebody on their computer and then their mouse is all backwards compared to the way that you normally like to have it, that is the Archer experience. Yeah, this thing, after driving across the entire map looking for enemies, this thing is even slow going the right way it's supposed to. Now, okay, I see machine gun fire, and this is it. I may just have to wait until... They have to be pushing through this way. I mean, I do see a teammate just on the other side of that hill. He's pushing down south, so there may be enemies pushing down this way. There has to be. I can't sit here. This is... <laughs> oh, finally! Wow, we didn't take him out in one hit. Okay. Alright. We got our first guy. There's... Oh, yes! Just keep him coming, please. Oh. Okay, looks like he took out maybe something fuel-related. Something behind me? Oh, dang. That truck just, like, dropped down the cliff. Can we get him? Okay, I don't think we even got anything very important. Is that his ammo that's red? Oh, shoot. I may be in trouble here. Oh, please. Oh, no. And the driver's dead because he's sitting in the back. Yeah, just take me out of my misery. This is probably a good thing. This is a blessing. What? He just, like... Oh. I don't know why that guy decided to kill himself. <laughs> why did he that's so funny I can't imagine he was like intimidated or something nice this may be as good as it gets I'm still so confused at why that guy jetted out I'm guessing that's why he gave me the kill or the target destroyed because I was the last one that hit him and then he just or did he ever put out his fire? I think I caught him on fire and I don't think he ever put it out. Oh, that's funny. Holy cow. It must have been a new vehicle for him and he, he forgot to uh, equip the fire extinguisher. I've been there before and it is the worst to realize you have no way of putting out the fire. I'm still curious if you end up driving into a lake or some sort of water, if that'll help put out the fire. Okay. Are we going to see anyone come around this corner before the game ends? I don't dare turn my entire tank around because I'm so open right here. And if somebody comes out, they're going to see me. And then I have to completely turn my tank around to get my cannon to face them. Okay, doesn't look like we're gonna get anybody else. Shoot, thought we were. And look how slow this thing turns on a hill. I don't know how anybody would enjoy this tank. This has to be one of the worst experiences in a British tank I've played with so far. Anyway, video on the Archer. This is the Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.